Hello, it's Neil Paddock here. I hope you're doing okay. I thought I'd take a leaf out of Chris Farrell's book and do you a quick video on how to read amazing books for free. I hope you'll find this interesting. Now, what are we going to be doing? We're going to get an ebook from the internet and then we're going to download some software. Now, there's three bits of software here. You may have some of these already. The first one is Kindle for PC, which is pretty amazing. And I'm going to give you a little tour of that in a little while. There's also a thing called Primo PDF, which basically enables you to create PDF files out of Word documents and other such things. Then there's Mobi Pocket Creator. And what that does, uh, or what we're going to be using it for more specifically, is to take a PDF file that you already have and convert it into a format that the Kindle will read. And then, as I already mentioned, we'll have a quick tour of Kindle for PC. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. So, let's hit escape. This is Kindle for PC. Now you can go and grab this from Amazon. And as Blue Peter used to say, here's one I prepared earlier. I'm going to go over to the top left hand side. I hope you see my little arrow. Success through a positive mental attitude. Now I managed to grab this off the internet earlier on via Wikipedia. So basically Google Napoleon Hill, go right down to the bottom and here it is. So let me just click on it and we'll click on it a couple of times and it takes me to what, where I've actually physically got up to on this book. Now I like this software a lot because you can take any document and using the software that I mentioned in the slides just now convert it into a format for the Kindle. So why is that any good, you might ask yourself, and that's a fair question. Well, once you've got it into this format, as you're reading, you can highlight it as you go along. So for example, I've already started this book, and if I go to location over here on the right, at the top right, location 277, it says, we are poor because father never developed a desire to become rich. And there you go, that's location 277. So it's it basically remembers as you go through a book. Um, it's a bit like highlighting a real book, I suppose, isn't it? But you obviously have the advantage that you have this um, kind of directory that remembers it all on the right-hand side. So I thought that would be useful to show you. The other thing <laughs> that fascinates me, actually, with this, and I only started playing with this earlier on, is that this is very configurable. So as I float my mouse over the AA at the top of the screen, can you see that where it says change your font size, colour and words per line? Um, this little helpful screen pops up. Now, I'm going to just mess with these. So what are we going to do here? We're going to change the font size. Now, hopefully you'll be able to see that getting smaller and smaller. And of course, it's going to pretty soon get to a point where it's like legal copy on the back of an invoice. You can hardly read it, but at least you can see probably where I've highlighted the passages. And similarly, for those who can't see very well, you're able to go right the way up to that kind of font size, which is uh, plenty big enough, isn't it? So let's pop that back somewhere near the middle. Also, you can change the words per line as well. So here we go, we can squash it up into thin columns. We can certainly make it like a newspaper. And if we go and click up this, this button up here, we can convert it back into a sort of more conventional, boring word format. And similarly, I can start grabbing these arrows. We can stretch it across the screen. We can shrink it up. We can even change the colors here. We've got the conventional black and white. The one that I had it on just now was sepia. And you can always have um, white on black as well. You can see the, the highlighting is still showing through. There we go. I've just switched it back. I hope that gives you an idea of how useful this could be. And I'm going to just click home, uh, eventually. There we go. And I've got a few other books in there as well. So I'm going to find this useful as a, a, as a tool uh, to basically study stuff. So I'm impressed. Now, let's just show you a few other bits and pieces. So here's something called Free Mind. And I've just done a little mind map for you here. Now, some of my favourite authors are Napoleon Hill, James Allen, Russell Conwell, who did Acres of Diamonds. Um, and here's our bits of software that we want to look at as well. So you've just seen Kindle for PC. 
Now, how do we convert a PDF file uh, to be read on the Kindle? Shall we be brave and have a go at that now? I'm going to have to pop out to my screen, my desktop, which is going to be a bit messy. Um, as I do that, you'll see that I've already got the uh, screen for where you can get Kindle for PC from, from Amazon. I signed in. I, I expect most of you have an account with Amazon and you can configure it. And the important thing to remember here is you don't actually have to have a Kindle to use this software. So, so you can download this from here and you'll get all the benefits that I just showed you. I'm not an affiliate, by the way. Now, coming out to my somewhat messy desktop, I'm going to grab a thing called Moby Pocket Creator, which is something I downloaded earlier. Let me just quickly run through how this works. So let's make it pretty big. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to grab one I prepared earlier. Um, this is the publisher version. There are two versions. They're both free. I can send you the links to this, or if you want to email me at neilpaddock at gmail.com, I'd happily send you the links, or even that little free mind map I was showing you just now. Let's click on Adobe PDF, and you'll see here that it asks me to choose a file. So we're into the in file import wizard, which is basically what we're going to use to convert a PDF file. So I'm going to click Browse in the normal way, and I'm going to find one on my PC. So let's pick um, let's pick Acres of Diamonds. Now, I'm not encouraging you to do kind of dodgy copies of things because there are legal implications and so on. But for the sake of argument, this one, I'm not going to try and sell it commercially or anything either, and I don't encourage you to do the same. I've just done that import thing, so I should have actually told you that's what I was doing, and it creates the Acres of Diamonds HTML. Once you've done that, literally go up to the top where it says build up here and I leave all these things the same. Standard compression, no encryption and click build. Off it goes and I have changed the settings so it says open the folder containing the ebook. You'll see why in a second. Click OK and up pop some choices and the one we want conveniently enough is highlighted acresofdiamonds.prc that's the type of file that a Kindle will create as it says here Kindle contents so I'm going to right click on that I'm going to open with now you might have to set this up yourself Amazon Kindle for PC application okay so if I click OK now wait for modern technology to take over and there it is as Chris would say how cool is that. But I think in essence by the time we, we get past the header and into the book um, you'll see that it's quite readable um, particularly if you set it up with your own preferences so it's an old book so I like I happen to like sepia for these but it's up to you. So that's um, that's it really. So uh, let's just have a look back at where we started out. Have we done it all? I didn't show you where to get Moby Pocket Creator from, did I? So let's quickly show you that. If I go back to my um, free mind, this is quite a cool piece of software. I suggest you get hold of a copy of this too. Uh, let's go to Moby Pocket Creator on here. I just click it to unfold, and you see we've got a link here. So if I click that now, that's going to take me to the page that I downloaded the software from. And literally, if you follow my arrow, uh, down to the right here, bottom right, that red download button, that's where you get the software from. It's quite easy to install, so I won't go through that now. So hopefully that gives you all you need, and uh, this is Neil Paddock. I shall see you on the next video. Bye for now.